Elmira. You ready? What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to a brand new episode. I am working on the 2011 Lincoln Town Car Executive L. Uh, the transmission filter and the fluid needs to be drained and changed. Um, brand new everything. So I wanted to go ahead and show you exactly how you go ahead and do this. I'm literally using two, two tools um, and a, plus a pan. So um, let me take you to the car and I'll show you exactly what I'm working with. All right, guys, so um, as you can tell, the pan's already off, uh, the filter's already off, the vehicle has been drained out. Um, literally, the tools that I have is a damn microfiber, a 10 millimeter extension, six inch, with a 10 millimeter uh, socket, and a wrench, um, a wrench, and then some uh, good old pliers, man. Here, the car, that's used for the coolant hose cooler hose excuse me that's located right here the nearest one to the driver's side okay all you do is you take this out pull it back and this will slide right back uh, you take your pin trusty pin right here and you go ahead and drain it um, you're gonna spill obviously you're gonna spill it comes out um, and then of course you're gonna have the car running as you're doing this so take this out aim the hose down to the pan and then go ahead and have someone or you can just go ahead and crank the car up um, and you'll see all the fluid coming out uh, when you see the the when you see it spitting out air with the liquid go ahead and shut it off that means it's all drained out um, and then you go ahead and take off the pan tiny bolts here I have them organized so I don't lose them these bolts okay and then uh, this is a re reusable gasket as well. Um, it says so in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some cleaner. This is the magnet that, this is all the gunk from the transmission itself. Um, and that's how it's supposed to be. So uh, you take this out, you clean it up with some brake fluid, you clean the pan and uh, put it back together. New filter is right here. All right, guys, so I went ahead and sprayed some brake clean all over the inside of this beautiful pan. I also cleaned the magnet here. Um, you get dirty, of course, and it's nice, but I still have to um, spray some brake clean on the gasket, and we're good to go. Put the new filter back on and hook it back up. Put the fluid in. Once you go ahead and uh, finish up clean in the gasket wipe it down make sure it's all lined up perfectly with the pan and that's exactly how it's going to go on it's beautiful it's super clean and so is the magnet we're good to go all right guys so uh, as you can tell everything is bone dry this is from earlier but the pan is bone dry the cooler line is bone dry everything is bone dry I'm going to go on a test drive, see how it shifts and uh, radiator hose isn't leaking anymore. It was because I had it set on uh, a little pushed up too much. Um, but as you can tell, new fluid is in there. It's right on the mark as well. Oh yeah, that's very nice and pinkish red now is just let it idle and then we'll go on a test drive we'll shift see what happens uh, the transmission the old fluid was still somewhat red um, this is the access that came out of it after the fact of swapping it but as you can tell now it's completely red um, the old ones on the boxes but so far so good all right guys, I am on the test drive right now. Uh, the transmission is completely full and uh, it's driving pretty good. Um, again, I'm just letting it kind of calibrate itself with the fluid. Um, the new fluid is also mixing in with the rest of the old 
Uh, so I'm thinking since I've added about six quarts, six and a half, whatever came out, uh, I'm thinking about maybe like in two weeks to go ahead and dump that fluid out and put the Mercon LV in there, uh, which actually the car uh, the car calls for. Uh, but the Mercon 5 is fine uh, unless you live in a hot climate you should just put in Mercon LV. Now I, I messed up on my end. Um, I forgot to look at the dump the, the dipstick the dumpstick the dipstick and uh, made the mistake but I currently live in Georgia where it's not that uh, hot right now so the Mercon 5 will do fine. Uh, the car shifts fine I'm currently averaging 21 miles a gallon um, yeah it's sorry about that so yeah it's I mean here no check engine light and then you give it some gas and it just goes um, but yeah I mean to take off you just simply it's pretty good pretty strong I definitely recommend only changing dropping the pan and changing the filter do not flush out the transmission only because if there is buildup and gunk in the transmission because transmissions work off of pressure lines so if there is a it's like a maze so if there is any gunk sitting in that maze and the where the pressure goes um trust me it's it'll it'll mess it up uh just change drop the pan change the filter add new fluid uh, uh, back in the car uh, drive it for a certain you know period of mileage and you'll be fine um, I definitely recommend doing this every 25 to 30 thousand um, if you're religious about your car and your transmission especially on these 4 r 70 e or W 75 W's um, I think I got that right yeah anyway so I hope you guys learned it um, again I am only one man um, I wanted to do it to film this whole episode just by you know showing you guys how it's done but I think I did a pretty good job in you know showing what all you need the tools dropping and how, you know how many bolts go in and blah 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 so I uh, hope you guys learned and enjoyed this episode uh, the Lincoln's doing good and uh, till the next one later <laughs>